Chapter 9 She looks like a sexy angel as she walks toward me. Blonde hair flowing and silky over her bare shoulders, a slash of pink gloss on those fantastic lips, and those hot as fuck red shoes. I'm not sure I ever saw her in heels before. College wasn't exactly the place for four-inch fuck-me pumps, so I'm not sure she knows that I have a thing for shoes. Not wearing them. Please. But I do have it bad for how fucking sexy a woman looks in a gorgeous pair of heels. And no one, no woman in the history of the world, has ever looked this good in red shoes. Hey, you, I say. She greets me with a smile. Hi. We walk through the bar. Ladies first. I gesture to the small circular booth at the back of the Lucky Spot bar. A low white candle in the middle of the table flickers, casting a faint glow across the wood. Delaney slides in first and I follow her. Questions ping pong in my head. How close can I sit to her? Do I launch right into the catch up banter? Or dive into those were the days chit chat that reminds her of how good we were together? Do I tell her when I saw her last weekend it stirred up something inside me? And I don't just mean the physical. Seeing her was a knockout blow I didn't see coming. Clay might say it ignited regret, but I see it more as a storm of possibilities and what-ifs. Perhaps the biggest one is this. What if I hadn't followed Professor Blair's advice at the end of college? I shake off the thoughts that have been plaguing me all day. Delaney's here, I'm here. Time to treat this night like a first date, not a stroll down memory lane. I'm dressed for a first date jeans, a button-down shirt, the cuffs rolled up to my forearms. Delaney wears a pair of jeans that do nothing but stoke my desire to stare at her ass all night, but that's not possible since we're sitting. A black sleeveless top affords a lovely hint of cleavage, and that same turtle charm I spotted earlier glints in the soft blue lighting. So, I begin, clearing my throat as I rub my palms against my thighs. I'm fucking nervous. This is not acceptable. Yesterday I stood naked in front of her, and tonight I'm dressed, yet at a loss for meaningful words. 